Hi, second grade. Welcome back to Book A Day. Oh, the book we are reading today is an all time favorite. The book with no pictures. Hmm. A book with no pictures? I don't know if that'll be any interesting. Don't judge a book by its cover. Let's look at our Mrs. Wordsmith vocabulary word. Preposterous. Repeat. Preposterous. Preposterous is an adjective. It's a describing word. That means ridiculous or absurd. Like a bunny performing a magic trick. Usually the bunny's the one being held out of, pulled out of the hat. Let's think about the word preposterous while we're reading today and see how it connects to our book today. Let's get in to the book with no pictures. This is a book with no pictures. It might seem like fun, like no fun to have someone read you a book with no pictures. That's true. It probably seems boring and serious. Except here's how the book works. Everything the words say, the person reading the book has to say. Hmm, the author has a good point. When we're reading a story, each word on a page must be read. And each word does have a meaning. No matter what. That's the deal. That's the rule. So that means... Even if the word says, Blork. Wait, what? That doesn't even make mean anything. Blurf. Wait a second, what? This isn't the kind of book I wanted to read. And I have to say every word the book says. Uh-oh. Whoa. Did you hear my voice when I read those big words? Why do you think that I read them that way? I am a monkey who taught myself to read. Hey, I'm not a monkey. And now I am reading you this book with my monkey mouse in mouth and my monkey voice. That's not true. I am not a monkey. Yes, I am a monkey. Also, I am a robot monkey. What? And my head is made of blueberry pizza. Wait a second. Is this whole book a trick? Can I stop reading, please? No! Do you hear the difference in my voice when I read a sentence that has a question mark at the end and a sentence that has a question mark and an exclamation point at the end? Here, I'll read it again. Is this whole book a trick? Can I stop reading, please? No. Try reading it aloud to yourself if you can see a difference and make a difference in your voice. And now it's time for me to sing you my favorite song. A song? Do I really have to sing a... Glug, 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 my face is a bug. I eat ants for breakfast right off the rug. What? How embarrassing. Take a look at what the author just made me sing. When I sang the word rug, why did I stretch it out like that? This book is ridiculous. Can I stop reading yet? No. There are more pages? I have to read the rest? 
my only friend in the whole wide world is a hippo named Boo Boo Butt. Boo Boo Butt? Oh. Wow. And also, the kid I'm reading this book to is the best kid ever in the history of the entire world. Oh, really? And this kid is the smartest kid, too, because this kid chose this book even though it had no pictures because the kids know this is the book that makes grown-ups have to say silly things. And make silly sounds like... Do you hear the pause in my voice when I see these three dots? Remember, they're called ellipses. The author puts them there on purpose to build suspense for the next page. I wonder what's coming next. Here, I'll read it again to show you the suspense. And make silly sounds like... Oh no, oh no, here it comes. Glurgawaku! My grandfather, ay, 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 brug, 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 oof, eemf, blaggity, blaggity, glibbity, globbity, globbity, glibbity, beep, boop, ee, balungi face. Oh. oh my goodness. Please don't ever make me read this book again. It is so silly. In fact, it is completely and utterly preposterous. Next time, please, 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 please choose a book with pictures. Please because this is just too ridiculous to read. The end. Bonk. I didn't want to say that. Oh, second crater. What an amazing book day we had today. The book with no pictures, boy, oh boy, was that a goofy book. At the beginning, we were worried that a book with no pictures could be boring. What do you think now? Can a text with no illustrations keep you entertained? Oh yeah, I bet that you were entertained as the reader because I was, or as the listener, I guess, because I was entertained and embarrassed reading the book. Let's look back at our vocabulary word of the day. Preposterous. That means ridiculous or absurd. Now our vocabulary word of the day, it was special. It actually appeared in our book a day. That usually doesn't happen. We usually have to make a connection. See, in fact, it is completely and utterly preposterous. Second graders, what was preposterous in this book? What was ridiculous or absurd? Write a sentence telling me about it. Yeah, I might say, reading a book with no pictures and all of those silly voices and all of the ridiculous things I had to say was preposterous. Well, I hope you had fun. Tune in next time. Bye.